everybody on this brisk autumn day. My name is Cameron. I'm sitting here with my little guy, Gerald, and I'm in my music room right now. I got my records behind me and my turntable, my CD player, my DAT tape machine I have no DAT tapes for, and I also have my uh, beautiful Bjork mug that I made in ceramics class because I love Bjork. She's the best. But I'm not here to talk about Bjork today. I'm here to talk about albums that remind you of November or or help you survive November because lately I've been feeling a bit drained and exhausted from schoolwork and responsibilities and stuff like that and I really need good companions especially in the form of albums so without further ado let's get into it I think an obligatory uh, November album is probably Flower Boy by Tyler the Creator Uh, it has a song titled November on it it's about identity and self-love and being comfortable in your own skin and finding ways to communicate with those around you about your feelings and trying to break out from bad habits in the way of growing into something new and I think during November we start to get into winter time and we have all these holidays where we go back to family and we have to perform a different kind of person that we've been used to ever since you know starting college again and I think albums like these are great companion pieces just because it reminds you that you're not alone and that someone as trivial and absurd as Tyler the Creator needed a moment to express how much isolation he was feeling at that time and made such fantastic music and art surrounding it so if you haven't um please go ahead and listen to flower boy by tyler the creator this season take me back to november take me back to november hawaiian shirts in the winter cold water cold water here take me back to november the next one is a newer record by a chicago band named rat boys Rap Boys is kind of like an alternative Americana, but still kind of punk rocky, some kraut rock stuff, and generally indie in a very blanket, broad way. And I think they make fantastic music that is comforting, yet bombastic and energetic. And for this time of the year, for me specifically, I discovered them through engineering their concert and mixing them live and I didn't know who they were and they ended up playing at least half the songs on this unreleased album at the time during that performance and I was stunned. I got my mind freaking blown on this one and I don't know if you're fans of Always and Men I Trust and Sleater Kenny, I think you will find this album to be a treat and has such great songwriting on it i would not skip it and it's just bringing the fall vibes so go ahead listen to it please do it for all the straight guys who are currently sad uh at this point in time Radiohead is probably already on your playlist, but I will give you guys a break and introduce you to A Moonshaped Pool. This album is a particularly dark, sad, atmospheric, deep album that hits the most traumatizing of topics (laughs) from the friendships being lost and how he now has to operate differently because of that and a lot of really complex and conflicting emotions are brought on to this album but it's done in such an orchestrated detail oriented and just groovy way that is very new for the group at the time of this release. I think everybody was really impressed at how much range there was on the album. And then compared to all the other albums, I think they made albums representing winter, summer, but this is definitely in the most fall. Think of the leaves falling down, you're seeing the bears of the tree branches and stuff like that. And then 
life is changing in front of you and you can't handle it and this album really really does that perfectly it gives you that feeling in such a visceral and amazing way and if you haven't taken the time to go and listen to it please do uh you will enjoy it trust me the last one i'm gonna bring up today is a very special album to me this album is such an inspiration to me personally just because when i found it i needed it and it was during the winter time but even though it was the winter time i was going through a lot of changes and i was going through friendships ending and then new ones beginning and me as a person changing and i couldn't handle it and then i got this guy right here which is dragon new warm mountain i believe in you by big feet which is an expansive odyssey of an americana singer songwriter a uh, country indie a bunch of label that displays some of the most poetic representations of raw human emotion i've probably ever experienced in my life these songs define very clear months of my life that i wasn't prepared to be cemented in my brain i thought i would just be numb to those experiences and i would just forget them but no this album made sure i remembered that <laughs> and for better or for worse this just exists in my soul in such an amazing way and inspired me to write a screenplay during my screenplay class here uh, i wrote 125 pages <laughs> which i found to be an achievement if you just love great songwriters and you love raw kind of unfiltered performances and you love poetry and emotion and just and just all that nitty gritty stuff that we tend to want to avoid because it's too much for us this is the album for you it is long at about an hour and 30 minutes but this is one of the rare cases in any album that every song is amazing and worth it and you'll f at least find something you really enjoy over the span of the album and for these autumn months this has been my big companion for two years now so if there ever was an autumn album i think this would be it well thanks for tuning in that's been th my album recommendations if you got your own albums or songs or movies or anything like that feel free to just spit it out into the ether somebody's gonna want that recommendation because they need it right now and it's worth it for you to put that out there so as i end it thanks for watching have a great day see you later